Hello everyone, today I am filming a video. I'm really excited to be filming this. It was meant to be last week's video, but you might have noticed, you probably didn't, I bet no one noticed. You might have noticed there was not a video last week and that is because one of the items that I needed for this took a lot longer to arrive than I thought, um, but it's here now. I now have everything. So today I am gonna be filming, well, it's technically another advent calendar video. I know I said the series was over, but um, we have one more. <laughs> but this is something completely different. Like I've never done this before and it's kind of different to the ones in the series. I've basically bought three advent calendars from Etsy, kind of like mystery boxes, like they're basically mystery box advent calendars. I don't have a clue what's going to be in them but someone has made them and I am gonna unbox them and see if they're any good. So like I said I went for three different advent calendars all sold by different people and they're all kind of different types of advent calendars. One of them is a wellness and relaxation advent calendar, I thought that sounded interesting. One of them is a makeup advent calendar. Oh yeah the third one is like a mixture of all sorts we've got homeware home decor jewelry there's like a mixture of all sorts in there so yeah should be fun also give this video a thumbs up if you why are you giving it a thumbs up okay so this is mystery box advent calendar number one this is the wellness and relaxation one this cost me uh oh it was 30 pounds 30 pounds for a 24 day advent calendar so not too bad and yeah it arrived in this little box i'm just using this advent calendar as like a little stand to put it up on and but yeah this is the box that it came in it's just like a plain white box and then inside we have a bunch of christmas presents this person has wrapped up every single item in wrap and paper or some of them are in like these little cards and then every single one is numbered from 1 to 20 oh is it 25 or 24 i don't know we'll find out so yeah this is day number one it feels kind of soft okay so oh a foot pack foot mask like a little foot mask um this is by the brand xbc i've never heard of them before but this is their coconut water foot pack so there we go that's the first product day number two is I don't even know. I don't have a clue. Are these Christmas cards? <gasps> These are Christmas cards. Oh my goodness, that's really helpful because I have not bought any Christmas cards yet. And these look quite cute. Day number three, we've got a slightly smaller one. <laughs> so we've got... <laughs> I don't know why it's funny. It's a chocolate bar. It's not that funny. Calm down, love. We've got a double decker. Day number four is tiny. Like, it's a really thin little present. Ooh. We got a tea bag. <laughs> um, it's by the brand Pucker, which I think is quite like a good tea brand. I don't really know. And yeah, it's their three mint organic tea bag. It's only one. It's just one tea bag, but tea. Day number five is in an envelope. I'm so intrigued to know what's in these envelopes. So let's find out. Like, what could it possibly be? Okay, I think it's like a little um. No, I actually have no idea. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Like a little quote card. Is that a thing? Because I guess you could put that up somewhere in your room, I guess. It says, you grow girl. So instead of go girl, you grow girl because there's plants. Haha. <laughs> Day number six is this little one here. Not one, but two lint lindor chocolate balls <laughs> chocolate balls um i like these these are tasty i'm not really supposed to eat chocolate unless it's dairy free but maybe i will eat these day number seven is another little envelope is it going to be another inspirational quote on a card let's find out oh this one's a little bit different a bookmark this is what it looks like it's got some little plants on it i don't really know what else to say i don't know what to say so this is day number eight hmm we've got a little packet of tea light candles these are in the scent sandalwood and patchouli oh wow they smell good they smell very like fresh and clean and nice um so yeah got some little candles day number nine is this one here i think we have some more chocolate <laughs> okay what have we got this time oh my god what is this a water Oh, no, it says wafer. <laughs> I was going to say, what is a water roll? It says wafer roll. What brand is this? I've literally never seen this chocolate before in my life. Day number 10 is this one. Feels interesting. So we have a pen. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. It says a smooth ballpoint ink pen. Oh, it's a clicky one. You've got different colours. You've got a black, a blue, a green and an orange. And you like click it down to pick the colour. I mean, useful. A pen. Very handy. <gasps> to write the Christmas cards. 
Day number 11, we've got another little envelope. The envelopes... I think it's another bookmark. I think they're bookmarks. Again, it's pretty. You've got little flowers all over it in these sort of pastel -y colours. Yeah, another one. Day number 12, we've got a little box of some jelly beans. It is not a jelly bean. Incense cones. I have never heard of that before in my life. Well, I've heard of incense, but not an incense cone. Um, yeah, relaxing 15 incense cones. I have no idea what scent they're in. Oh, wow. <coughs> they smell really strong, but they look like little turds. They smell incredible, but like really strong. I have no idea how this works. I've never had anything like this, but I've now got a load of incense cones. Okay, day number 13 is this little one here. I thought so. We've got another chocolate bar. This is a Cadbury Dairy Milk, just a classic little bar of dairy milk chocolate. Yum yum. Day number 14 is this one. Oh, hello. This one's very floppy again. It feels very soft and it feels like a powder. There's powder in there. Oh, we've got a little hot chocolate. Uh, this is a Cadbury's Whisper Instant Hot Chocolate. So it's just like a little sachet of hot chocolate. Day number 15, we've got another little envelope. Oh, what's it going to be this time? Wow, look at it catching the light. It's holographic. Like, are you a sticker? Let me see. I think it might be a sticker. Oh, maybe not. A little cardboard cutout of a butterfly. It's pretty. Look at the holographic prettiness. Day number 16, some sticks. I think whatever it is, I just snapped it. I did. I snapped it. What is it? Oh, we, we got some candy canes. I mean, makes sense. Very festive. Snapped one of them. We, <laughs> we got two candy canes. Day number 17 is another little envelope. Um, okay, this one's a bit of me. I still don't know what these are. I don't know their purpose, but this one is a bit of me. We've got a spacey one. Is it meant to be a postcard? Could you use it as a postcard or just... I don't know. Day number 18 is this tiny little one here. Oh, oh. Um, so we've got a little lip balm. It's just like a standard original lip balm. I'm guessing it doesn't smell. Nope, doesn't smell like anything because it's just like an original one. Day number 19, I'm pretty sure it's going to be another chocolate bar. It feels like one. <laughs> got another Cadbury's Dairy Milk. Yum yum. <laughs> Day number 20 is probably the biggest one, but it's really thin. Like, oh my goodness, is it just going to be a massive version of one of these? I think it is like a poster. So it's something that you could put in a frame and put it up if you wanted. It's, it's a little island. Yeah, we've got little palm trees, um, some birds, some mountains. Day 21, my lucky number, and it's like the tiniest one ever. Is this another tea bag? Do you know what? Day 21 is always a bit rubbish. I feel like through all of the calendars, my lucky number was always a little bit naff. So I, I think it's another tea bag. <laughs> it's another tea bag. Um, again, by the brand Pucker. Am I saying that right? Pucker? Or is it pu- It can't be puka. Um, this is their Phil New Organic Tea. A clean fusion of aniseed, fennel, and cardamom. I'm getting a new lucky number next year, I swear. 21 is just not the one. <laughs> Day 22 is the final little envelope. Got another one, another little bookmark. This one has butterflies all over it. How many books am I gonna read? <laughs> I've got so, I'm gonna have to have so many books on the go. I haven't read a book since I was about 15. <laughs> so this is day 23. It's a little bit of a bigger one. It feels, this one feels like a little notebook. Um, yep, yeah, we've got a little pink notebook. It says, doodles, thoughts, write it down, scribbles, notes, my great ideas. I don't have any of those. I am very busy. I'm not. Let's make plans. I never do that. I feel like this is quite cute though. It's a nice little notebook. You've got a bunch of lined pages in it. And then finally, we've got day 24. So this is a 24 day advent calendar. Yeah. What have we got in the final door? It feels floppy again. The floppy is back. So we're ending on a little face mask. I feel like that's quite a nice one to end on. Um, this is by the brand Derma V10. I've never heard of this brand, but this is their anti-aging collagen face mask with aloe vera. And there we go. That is the box.
all unboxed. Um, it's all right. I just think maybe for 30 pounds, I expected a little bit more. Um, do you know what I mean? But it, it's all right. Like it does make a nice little sort of self-care relaxation advent calendar. Um, yeah, I just think it probably could have been a little bit cheaper and it was not quite what I was expecting, but it was okay. It was fun to open um, and I'm sure someone would really like it. So yeah. That is the first one done. Okay, so this is Mystery Box Advent Calendar number two. This is the makeup one, and I'm pretty sure this was the cheapest of the three. Yeah, this one cost me £19.99, so £20. Um, and again, it's a 24 day advent calendar. And yeah, this is what arrived. It arrived in a shoe box. Um, it looks a little bit scuffed, but that's just where I've ripped off the brown tape. It didn't look like this much of a mess when it arrived. Um, but yeah, it's in a little shoe box let's have a look <laughs> and then this is what it looks like so we've got a load of little boxes for this one um all of the products are in little boxes with numbers on them the numbers are so cute they've got like little faces um so yeah let's go okay so it turns out some of them are in boxes but some of them are wrapped up like the other advent calendar um so this is day number one it's in this sort of little tube okay so what have we got? Oh, this is, oh, it's by the brand Rimmel and this is their lip art top coat. Oh, it's in the shade gold. Makes sense. It's gold. Okay. So this is day number two. It's like a long skinny one. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a pencil. Oh, there. Oh no, it's, oh, it's cracked. Didn't I just do that? Or did it come like that? I might've just done that when I was trying to open it. I've cracked the lid, but what is this? It's like a two ended pencil. This is by the brand top P Fram? Who are you? Okay, I've never heard of this brand and I can't find much info on it either. So that is a mystery. Uh, Toppy Fram, and it's their two-in-one special eye and lip liner. Uh, one side is kind of like a, I guess it's kind of like a gold color. And then the other side is just a black. Day number three, we've got the first item in a little box. Oh, okay. Um, well, this is not a bit of me. Um, we've got a nail polish, which is nice. Like that's something a bit different. Um, who, who are these brands? This is by the brand Asta Fashion Studio uh, and this one is in the shade Fascinating Goa. It's a green. It is green. Okay so day number four is another long skinny one. I'm guessing it's going to be another pencil of some kind. Okay so I know this brand. This is by the brand MUA and it's their intense glitter eyeliner in the shade baby blue. Wow okay so it's like a glittery pastel blue eyeliner pencil. Day number five is in this little box okay so we've got something by the brand collection and this is their instant brow pomade in the shade brunette a little tub of eyebrow pomade a lot of things in here are things that i probably wouldn't use but like they don't know that do they they don't know who i am the whole point is it's a mystery box this is day number six <gasps> okay so we've got another little nail polish um this one's by the brand collection and it's their work the color nail polish in neon pink um so yeah oh we got another nail polish but if you're day number six what did i open i think what i opened was day number nine but because it was like that i thought it was day number six it was day number nine so that's okay we'll save this one for day number nine we'll just we just switch them up okay so this is day number seven what is this oh my hello um again by the brand collection and this is their galactica fast stroke metal eyeliner um it's like a gold liquid eyeliner to go with your gold sparkly lip topper <laughs> day number eight we've got this one here oh it's, it's a chunky one this is <gasps> I think we've got a mascara. This is the collection. A lot of this is collection. Um, this is basically like a collection advent calendar. This is their lengthening mascara. Um, looks like a pretty nice one. Okay, so day number nine, which is actually day number six, but we've switched them around. Um, another skinny one. Well, this one's not too skinny. Again, it's a little bit chunky. Mm. Oh. Okay, so this is by the brand collection <laughs> this is their color pro intense color lip lacquer in the shade rebel so it's like a i guess kind of like a hot pink color day number 10 we've got this little box here we've got another I like this one. We've got another nail polish. This is a L'Oreal nail polish and it's their Latex Effect nail polish in the shade Mademoiselle Grey. I think that's the shade. I mean, that makes sense, wouldn't it? Day number 11, we've got another little box. Is this another, another nail polish? This is by the brand Maybelline and it's their Color Show Jelly Tint. Yeah. There's definitely nail polish. I think, jeez, <coughs> I think it's like a little top coat or something like that. Okay, day number 12. I like the box on this one. It's got spacey vibes. 
Um, so this is by the brand Collection. You guessed it. Um, this is their Glam Crystals Face and Body Glitter. But this is not a bit of me. I, me and glitter, mm -mm -mm -mm. we do not get along. Um, this is in the shade Fallen Angel and it's just some silver glitter. Day number 13, we have... Oh my goodness. Um, we've got a... This is by Little Mix. When did Little Mix do a collection with collection <laughs> when was that i feel like maybe some of these products are really old little mix x collection okay well i can't find anything about it so i'm thinking this was quite a long time ago so yeah i'm thinking maybe some of these products are like old things that you can't buy anymore but yeah little mix collection liquid gloss this one's in the shade perry's liquid gloss it's just like a sort of pinky shade okay day number 14 is this one um I'm horrified. <laughs> is that really a thing? I love how there's a new sticker on it. I guarantee this is not new. This was probably new back in like the 80s. Okay, maybe not that, but I've not seen this. This is by the brand MUA and it's their Fur Effect Nails. And then it says under it, Fluff and Cuddles. Who wants furry nails? I'm confused. It's kind of like, oh, I don't even know. It's sort of like a powder. Um, it's in this sort of purpley shade. Yeah, it's kind of like a powder. I'm guessing you sort of put it on top of a nail polish and it'll stick to it and it will make your nails look furry. Who wants this? Like literally, who, who, why, how? <laughs> Day number 15, we've got this box here. Got another nail polish. Um, this is by the brand Collection and it's their Field Day nail polish in the shade Peach Blossom. So it is just kind of like a peachy sort of apricotty shade. It'd be nice for spring. But I tell you, another nail product, like there's quite a lot of nail stuff. I wasn't expecting that. I really thought it was mostly makeup. Okay, day number 16 is in this little pink box. This is like a little free sample of something and I have no idea what it is because none of it is in English. Oh no, oh, it's a foundation. This is by the brand Najoliri. I have no idea. Um, and it says no transfer foundation in the shade number seven. I think this is the first time I've ever opened an advent calendar and had a foundation in there. Um, oh, okay. Well, it would definitely be way too dark for me. Can you guys even see? That would be way too dark. That is why it's risky to put a foundation in an advent calendar because the chances of it matching that person are pretty slim. But um, yeah, a little free sample, I think, of a foundation. <laughs> okay. Okay, day number 17 is this one more foundation um this is by the brand collection it even says on it tester it's not even trying to hide it's not even trying to pretend it literally has on it tester <laughs> so this is a tester of collections last imperfection ultimate wear foundation in the shade oh in the shade cool ivory I just, there are so many things like that go, I, don't, I don't even know where to start but that's just a big no like a tester product day number 18 we have so again this is by the brand collection and it's their gorgeous glow jelly highlighter in the shade royalty kind of like a sort of shimmery champagne -y kind of color day number 19 we have what is this oh we've got a lip gloss this is by the brand mua and it's their sheer finish lip gloss in the shade perk me up it's quite it's quite a dark brown like that's a very dark shade day number 20 is this one it's in a really pretty little box this one let's have a look another nail polish <laughs> Um, this is also by the brand Collection and it's their Work the Colour nail polish in the shade Titanium Grey. It's kind of like a shimmery grey. Day 21, what are we going to get this time? Is it going to be the worst product? I mean, to be fair, it can't get worse than furry nails. That is the worst product, but let's see what we've got. In day 21, oh, it's a tester. Of course, day 21, another tester. It just all makes sense. Again, by the brand Collection, this is their Glam Crystals Glitter Drops. I guess it's just glitter that you can drop onto things and yeah. Day 22 is in this little box here. Is this another nail polish? What is that? Is... Oh. 
there's like a kind of dirty bit on it like it looks like it's quite old and it's been sat around somewhere for a long time there's like marks all up it or maybe it's been like sat in someone's makeup collection i kind of get that vibe from this i also have no idea what this is it's by the brand bonbons i mean yeah it looks like it is a little nail polish it's in this like really pale green color but it's got loads of little like glittery bits in it so this is day 23 it's another long skinny one so i'm thinking another little pencil this is actually a product that i use like this is what i use pretty much every time i do my makeup in my waterline this is by the brand rimmel and it's their soft coal kajal eyeliner pencil in the shade pure white and then finally we have day 24 it comes in this box here it's definitely the biggest box of all of them what are we going to end on day 24 Ooh, okay so we've got multiple things um the first thing we've got is a little pack of like you can buy these these are like the little um eyeshadow applicators that come in eyeshadow palettes that most people don't well some people might use them what are they called like sponges like sponge eyeshadow applicators this is by the brand wet and wild and then we've also got of course we're ending on a product by collection this is their eyes uncovered eyeshadow palette in the shade smoky purple Oh, this is what it looks like. It's just a very purple little eyeshadow palette. So yeah, that is the final day, day 24. And that is the calendar all unboxed. Hmm. <laughs> I feel like a lot of those products seemed very old, very outdated. Like I wonder how old they are and how long they've been sat around for. Um, They could be expired and old and just a bit icky. One of them was a bit grubby. Some of them were tester products. There were just a lot of red flags on this advent calendar. And I feel like it's just not the best um i feel bad but i just think it was someone getting rid of some of their old products that they haven't used well i hope that they haven't used okay so finally we have mystery box advent calendar number three this one is well this one's a bit of a mystery well obviously it's a mystery box um it's got a few examples it says jewelry homeware but apart from that i'm not really sure what's going to be in here this was the most expensive one it cost me 55 pounds and it's only a 12 day advent calendar so you get half the amount of products of the other two um but it's definitely the most expensive so I don't know. I mean, <laughs> this is what it looks like. This is what came. It's in a big brown box. And I actually think this one looks like it's going to be good. Like, let me show you what's inside. They're all wrapped in this really cute wrapping paper. They've got these little string bows, these little things to show the numbers. I just feel like this one already looks like it is more expensive, which makes sense because it is. So yeah, I think this one is going to be good. I hope. Don't let me down. Firstly, we've got some little candy canes in the box. Um, and we've also got a little bag of something. It says thank you for your order and we've got another candy cane <laughs> um, and then we've also got a little chocolate coin oh my goodness we've got a little freebie okay i already know this is going to be a good one. Oh, i'm so happy so yeah we've got a little pair of earrings these are so cute oh my goodness they're little dangly earrings with little stars on them and then little snowflakes on the bottom i think they're so cute some little christmas earrings okay so day number one I mean, it's a heavy one. It's like a big old box like this. Okay, so day number one, we have... It's a little Christmas mug. I actually don't own a Christmas mug. This is my first one. Oh, it's so cute. That's such a nice mug as well. Like it's a really nice size. It's really nice quality. It's in this like navy dark blue color. And then it just says, baby, it's cold outside on it. It's so cute. Okay, well, that is a very nice day number one. Okay, this is day number two, this little one here. Ooh. So they're these two little mushrooms. You've got like a longer one and a slightly stumpier one. But they're so cute. They're made out of like... I think, yeah, they're made out of wood. They are so adorable. And yeah, they are gonna go very nicely on our Christmas tree. Um, day number three is this little one here. Ooh. What is this? Okay, it's really tangled. I need to try and sort it out, but it looks like a necklace. Um, but it's like a little two layer necklace. This is so cute. So the shorter necklace has some little silver stars on it. And then the longer one has this like big cube on it, but it looks like a big old like gem thing. It's really pretty though. Like it looks so pretty when it catches the light. Okay, day number four, we've got another big old box that looks like this. It's so cute. <laughs> It's a little owl that is adorable. So this is a ceramic owl or oil, oil, wait, that is hard to say. Owl oil burner. Okay, it wasn't that hard. This is him. This is what he looks like. Wait, do you put tea lights in it? 
I feel like you do, don't you? Oh, I don't know. But then what goes in here? I've never used an oil burner before, so I don't know. But he's so cute. I like that. So day number five is this little one here. So it looks like we've got another little jewellery item. I think these are some earrings. They're so cute. So we've got some little dangly earrings and they've got these little rocks on them again. It looks a bit like the one on the end of the necklace. Um, you've got some silver stars and then some silver snowflakes on the bottom as well. Day number six is this one here. Ooh, we've got a little tub of something. Um, that is the cutest candle I've ever seen so it's a candle in a little tub but it's got loads of glitter on it and then like a big old star it smells amazing what is this flavor flavor i meant scent um it just says winter magic so i'm guessing that's the scent day number seven is this one here this one feels soft Ooh. oh there's all sorts in here so first of all we've got a there's like moon stuff there's star stuff this is so cute. I think it's like a little bag. Oh, it's a tarot card drawstring bag. I mean, I don't have any tarot cards, but I feel like you could put anything in here. It's so cute and it's so soft. It's in this purple color and then it's got this design on it with some hands and then a moon. Oh, that's adorable. It's like a little star shape. And then there's a little cork thing to hold in a load of rocks. This is all adorable. And then in here, we've just got a load more, a marble moon. I mean, come on. I'm having a great time with this one. <laughs> Day number eight is this little one here. Okay, so we've got, oh my goodness. We've got some more earrings, but they're like little, oh, what are they called? Those little blokes, Christmas blokes. Nutcrackers? Is that right? Yeah, I feel like little nutcracker guys. They're actually adorable. I'm gonna have to do close-ups for all of these jewelry pieces because I feel like you probably can't see them. But yeah, very cute. Oh, day number nine is a big one. Um, Stop it. This calendar could not be more a bit of me. You you just wait. Like, wait, 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 wait. Oh my goodness, and it's soft. It feels like the little bag. It's kind of like a velvet material. So on this side, we've got this moon design. I I think this is so pretty. And then on the front, it says, we all have our time to shine. Yeah, a little notebook. You've got a load of lined paper in there. Oh my goodness, like the nicest notebook I think I've ever owned. So I'm very happy with this. We have day number 10. Oh, we've got another little tub of something. So this is a sugar plum eco soy wax melt. Oh my goodness. Loads of little, oh, I dropped one. Inside you've got a load of these little purple nubs. Um, you've got quite a few of them. It smells, I mean, I don't know what the scent is, but it smells amazing. Oh, I'm guessing it's sugar plum. And I'm guessing these are to use with the little owl um, oil thingy. Very nice, very nice. Um, day number 11. I'm thinking it's gonna be another little jewelry item maybe. Okay, what have we got this time? Oh, so we've got another necklace. This one has like a big old wreath on the end. I feel like this is the first one that I probably wouldn't wear myself, but I'm sure I can find a home for it. And then finally we have day number 12, which is this one here. I don't want this one to end. I'm actually sad that it's ending, but yeah, day number 12. Ooh, what is this? Oh, it's like a little tote bag, I think. Look at the design on it. How cute is that? Is it like a little, I think it's meant to be like a little fairy. And then you've got a little planet at the top. I just realized she sat on the moon and she's naked. I mean, go do what you got to do. <laughs> so yeah, that is the final product in this advent calendar. I mean, in case you didn't realize, I was pretty happy with that one. I feel like you got some really nice products in there. Everything was just really cute. Yeah, I, I really liked everything. And it was very much like suited to me. Obviously the person making it didn't know that. And I didn't know what I was ordering. So that's kind of creepy that I went for one that was very much a bit of me. But is it worth the 55 pounds? I feel like that's quite a lot for a 12 day, but I'm happy with it. I, I yeah. I like it. I was gonna ask you guys at the end which one you think was the best, but I feel like, well, maybe not. I'll ask you anyway, which of the three calendars do you think was the best? I'm gonna go with number three. That was definitely my favorite. I think this was quite a fun video. I might do it again next year. Let me know if you'd want me to, it's a bit in advance, but give this video a thumbs up if you'd like me to do it again next year and I definitely will. Um, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you very, very soon. Goodbye. Ooh.